Hello, the last story I would like to bring to you in this 30-day period is the story of the 6888 Central Postal Directory Battalion. It is the story of the only Women's Army Corps unit made up of African Americans who deployed overseas during World War II. And their mission was to reduce mountains and mountains of months of months of backlog mail that was not getting to soldiers, mail, M-A-I-L. Remember that soldiers had landed on D-Day in June of 1944. They had advanced across France. They fought in the Battle of the Bulge between 15 December and 15 January 1944 and 1945. They were now in Germany. And so Eisenhower realized that morale was suffering because soldiers were not getting mail. So the women of the 600 and correction, the 6 triple they work shifts, three shifts, eight hours a day, 24 seven, reducing that amount of mail and the backlog and making sure mail was getting to the front. And I'll talk about some of that in a second, but of course the museum exists to tell stories through artifacts. So we do have several cool artifacts. And this is a burlap mail bag, which was found in the first ID section. Uh, a burlap mail bag, which was used to deliver mail after it was sorted and sent to the front by the women of the 6888. Um, and it also has some mail in it, which was written and received by first ID soldiers. And just a few uh, lines pulled out from some of those letters show you the contributions of the 6888. I'll read one or two to you. One says, today for the first time in a week we received mail and I got around 25, which should bring me up to date. In fact, it cleared up a lot of gaps that had been made by the absence of mail. And that was on April 4th, 1945. And there's another soldier who talks about um, a mail was dated on the 13th, it was postmarked on the 14th, and I received it on the 19th of June. This is pretty good service, he wrote, and there are other vignettes that we pulled out to make sure that we can tell an inclusive story and actually tie it to what our mission is to tell the story of the 1st Infantry Division and also telling military history stories and American history stories.